Hello again. This is another Mighty Mouse Solutions short film. Uh, this time starring the 16Z06. Uh, gonna do PCV acid test number three. This one will be using my new recirculation top and um, basically similar same type test as what we did on the Trailblazer in PCV acid test two except for raise the stakes a little higher gotta admit a little nervous about this one myself this car cost a couple bucks more than the Trailblazer and uh, you know I'm not using other people's cars for this sort of stuff this is my actual car my actual license plate so made me a little bit nervous but you know hey stand behind your product right so if you haven't seen on the website the recirculation top allows instead of venting straight out the breather like all the other cans uh, that I have done so far with the Gen 4 uh, base assembly now we're able to plumb it to the it air filter like some of the competition seems to think is such a good idea or down underneath the car or it's up to you really uh, anywhere other than venting straight into the engine bay apparently is uh, a feature some people were interested in so here you go um, this port here on top of the can is uh, 7 8 14 o-ring thread just like the can body ports we can hold a 12 a in fitting here as well as set up on this car is a c7z06 uh, wild system according to the website so a thousand horsepower capability I've hooked a vacuum gauge up to uh, my uh, PCV adapter which is underneath and we'll never get a clear shot of it but basically what we're doing for that on this test is it's a crankcase pressure reference um, so we'll see that once again we have uh, you know vacuum in the crankcase during normal driving and we release any pressure keeping it from building um, just like uh, acid test one and two this one of course because we're using the 10a inline much like PCV uh, acid test two it's a much better connection for high power or high crankcase pressure situations because we can fit more air through the line and it and it keeps the crankcase pressure stable even under extreme situations such as blasting it with an air compressor uh, so we'll just get right into it um, here's the the test All right okay no joke I gotta hop in to start the car on this one because Corvettes are so fancy you can't start them with the hood open gauge here slight negative pressure I don't have the inlet fitting restricted like I do on the trailblazer the trailblazer makes a bunch of vacuum driving around uh, because we're slowing down the air coming into the system controlling the air on both ends of the system actually this one still has the stock hose that runs to the the uh, cold air inlet there so we're not slowing the air coming in down so the vacuum does not build uh, very much just slightly below atmospheric which is which is all we're looking for so here at the pressure port where we're going to put in the pressure you feel a slight a slight little vacuum here but not much since it's kind of exposed on the inlet air filter this is our 10 a in line that will be releasing the pressure here and here goes the air Kind of an expensive car, right? Don't want to mess this thing up. 110 PSI of air going into the valve covers. We're getting still in the zero range of crankcase pressure. It's all venting out of that tube over there, which can now recirculate it into the air filter, under the car, out the hood, wherever you're happiest to do it if you don't like it right here. 
the same one-way pressure release is happening inside as it was with the breather option. And you know, you'll see I'll, put, I'll cover this back up to close the system back down. And uh, this is going to start to creep back into vacuum slightly. Like I said, it's barely any, but that's just the way the stock PCD system works on this. So that's about as extreme a situation you can get on about as expensive of a motor as you don't want to replace. Uh, if I would have had the uh, speaker over there, you'd have heard the air flying out of that. Obviously, it's got to go somewhere. Um, so there you go. This is the... C7 Z06 uh, Wildkit 10 a in inlet, uh, which includes the PCV assembly here to control the vacuum assist on the crankcase, and uh, that's the same basic assembly that you would find on any of the Wildkits on MightyMouseSolutions.com website, uh, or we could build one separate for you, and we can do it with the recirculating top now. I appreciate your time. And uh, feel free to write, comment, ask any questions. Thank you very much.